Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are proud to bring you today's event. Today's coverage of the Sand Dune Classic is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this first round action. I'm Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam in the booth and down on the course, it's hello to John McCarthy. Thanks Luke, uh, glad to be here. Looking forward to taking in some golf at eye level down here. Can't wait to see what happens out there today. Alexa, stop the timer. Recognizing Bruce. Sandon. First, Drake is rising. MZKZRT box. 275 inch carry plus 26 inch. Driver normal 398 inch to pin. Illil. Illil. That is right down the sprinkler line. And let's see what he can do here today. One win so far this season. Looking for number two here today. Recognize it. Drake's rise, Sandin. First. Fairway, 117 inch carry plus one is. Pitching wedge, normal plus. Pitching 117 inch carry plus one is. Pitching normal 113 inch to full. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. Should find the green here. Oh, that one just missed the hole. A wonderful shot and a chance for Birdie here on the first. You know what? That deserves a golf clap. Just three feet to the cup. Oh, what a way to build momentum early. And always a good feeling to have early in the round. Currently one under for the round. Making birdie in the first always puts you in a good frame of mood. It'll be fun to watch the round progress. You've arrived at a par four. Nice birdie in the last hole for a change. First one of the day. They needed it desperately. Now, next hole, looking for more. Recognizing results and June 2nd, MZK 100%, T-Box, 275 inch carry, plus 26 driver, normal, 447 inch to pin. Full screen project, Ops 28 point, Ops 28 point. Second shot on the second. Game with the nine iron, I think. Yeah, that one's looking good. That's well played. Anything on the green from there was fine. Made birdie on the last. Looking for a second in a row here. Yeah. 
Just remember to get that nice rhythm in your stroke. It's, it defies gravity, that one. That should have chased out more, but it didn't. And the putt drops, and we're moving on. He's currently tied for second. Teeing off here at the third hole. This looks to be heading for the cut stuff. Second shot here on the third. And here we are with the third shot. How close was that to going in the hole? Great shot. What an opportunity to make a birdie. Well, that hole's behind us. More to play. And this player's moving up on the leaderboard after that hole. Teeing off here at the fourth. Going with the five iron here. That's a pretty handy shot. Well, not a bad approach, that one up onto the green. A couple of putts from there, and that'll be a pretty good hole. He's already had a few birdies today. Another opportunity for another one. Let's take a look. This one's tracking, and down it goes. So that's back-to-back -back birdies. Back-to-back -back birdies moving the right direction there, Luke. And this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. The lead is getting bigger and bigger. Here we are at the fifth hole. The tee is yours. Looks like they put a good pass on that one.
lining up from around 160 yards. Going with the seven. Well, good looking shot here. That's headed towards the green. Fairways and greens. Easy game, isn't it? I tell you, you just dream about days like today. Greens and regulation spot on all day. Awesome. Lining up the birdie putt here. Here. Let's see if he can make it. And down it goes. Let's head to the next. Leading by a couple after that hole. Time to tee off at the sixth. That was absolutely murdered. Well, it's a chance for a good shot here from the fairway bunker. on the green now but a bit of work left to do here trying to get it to four under with this putt all good putters accelerate through the ball it's downhill the entire way, and yet, unexplicably, comes up short. And well hold. Let's move on. Our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage. Let's see what happens here on the seventh. Seems to have chosen the three wood. That's not what they were looking for. Needed to take a little less club on that approach. This would be a great up and down. That's almost a gimme. Great chip. Just eyeballing that one, trying to make it. 
Job done. Let's head to the next. And now that finds him in first place. I love a good two-shotter. Birdies on par fours feel great because you've had to execute all three shots. Yeah, that should find the cut stuff. A few shots under par at the moment. Currently in the lead. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. As soon as that left the club, you knew it was going left. Outstanding approach shot. This one just outside seven feet to the hole. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hole. Par putt coming up here. And down it goes. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. This hole is a par four, and it's a pretty lengthy one at that. Oh, this one looks to be heading down the runway. Second shot here on the ninth. Opting for the hybrid, I think. A nice approach shot there. Pin high inside the range. Almost a gimme birdie there, Luke. Fantastic. This one's for birdie. Right by the hole. Three feet to go here to the hole. Okay, let's head to the next. All right, Rich, we've made the turn now into the final nine. What are your thoughts so far? Always great to be in the lead, Luke. There's no doubt about it. But let's face it, lots of golf yet to be played. Let's see how this player handles it. We've arrived at a par four hole. Not a bad line, this one.
And this shot here coming up from around 130 yards. Chosen the pitching wedge here. Yeah, not a bad effort, that one. Up onto the green and a chance to hold your putt. Slim chance for a birdie, but in all reality, two putt for par would be just fine. Terrific roll. It even had a chance. And with that, you can go and put a par on the card. And with that hole behind us, let's have a look at the contenders and the pretenders. Now, two shots up after that one. You've arrived at a par four. Step up to the tee and own it. Wow, he let the big dog eat there, didn't he? Here we have the second shot into the 11th. Going with the hybrid. That dog will hunt. Scorecard filled with threes never hurts. Good putt to make this. That's the cardinal sin, leaving it short in the heart. Oh, a five-footer. It's amazing how tour pros hold these. Oh, lovely roll. This is a bogey putt coming up. So after that hole, this is what the leaderboard looks like. Still in the lead now after that hole. Being off here on the 12th hole. <laughs> Looks to be going with a hybrid here. Well, that's beautifully judged. This putt right on 12 feet to the hole.
He was on a good line. And they'll walk away with a par on this one. And after that effort, let's take a look at how it stands. At minus two, going along nicely today. Teeing off here on the 13th hole. This looks to be a fairway seeker to me. Time for the second shot here at the 13th. Uh-oh, this one's out, heading towards the rough. And from the bunker here, looking for an up and down. <laughs> oh, a sigh of relief. Happy to be putting again. Oh, good look at Birdie here. Just missed the birdie. That's a shame. And that should secure the par. Well done. And after this hole, that's how it looks. And there's no movement on the leaderboard after that hole. It's time to begin this powerful hole. It might be an ambitious play, but I like it. Looks like they're going for the green here. Well, I'm sure it looked better in their mind before they hit it. John, you're down there. How's this ball lying? They are into some deep, deep rough here, fellas. Let's watch, see what they can do. Getting ready to play their third. Yeah, you hit a beauty, didn't you? A couple under at this stage, currently in the lead. Just needs this one to kick right. Left yourself an opportunity. Sixteen feet to the cup. Oh. 
Oh dear, this next putt now for double bogey. Just one off the lead after that hole. Chance here to reclaim a bit of focus after that double at the last. That's tidy. Time for the second shot at the 15th. And here we are with the third shot. Just a stroke behind the leader. This looks to be heading to the green. Well, that'll set up a birdie bid, Rich. Oh, you love to see those shots land. What a play. Make this putt. You'll tie for top spot on the leaderboard. And with that, that's their fourth birdie. And with it, he moves to one under par. He's currently in a share of top spot. Gotta like it, moving up the leaderboard, never a bad thing. Pretty sure this player will be buoyed by that birdie back at the last. Let's see if they can deliver another one. And choosing the eight iron here. But not a bad approach. He'll be putting. Slim chance here for birdie, but you never know. Uh, a bit long on that one. This putt just five feet away from the hole. Good looking putt. And in it goes for the par. Our current leader is enjoying a one shot lead. Here we find ourselves on the tee of a par four. Yeah, this is a quality looking shot, this one. That should find the short stuff. Time for the second shot at the 17th. <laughs> uh, 
That's a good looking shot there. Just a four footer remaining. Well done. Take the birdie. And that will take him to two under. Nicely played. Moving on up the leaderboard now after that hole. This hole is a long par four. This one looks to be heading for the sanctuary of the fairway. This shot coming from around the 150 yard marker. Going with the eight iron here. Well, they'd love a little bounce to the right here. That's a lovely shot here at the 18th and a chance for birdie at the last. This putt will move them to three under par. Yeah, that was slightly misjudged. Well, I think they fell in love with the line, forgot about the pace. The round now in the books. Good luck next time. Pay notification for Daryl Bowles. Trophy earned. Press the PS button for details. Daryl Bowles. Bronze trophy. Scratch golfer. Earn a handicap index of scratch, zero, or better. Total trophy progress. 4%. PGA Tour 2021. At HP Studios, it's good night for now. Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are proud to bring you today's event. Today's coverage of the Sand Dune Classic is about to start. Pleased you could join us for this final round action. I'm Luke Elvey, here alongside Rich Beam. And Rich, this next golfer starts their round. What do you think about their chances? Never easy going to bed with the lead, and they're out here today. It's probably weighing on them a little bit. I gotta say though, this player has been playing well. That's why they have the lead. So they have to be excited and they have to like their chances going to this final round. Big day coming up. Can't wait to see how it unfolds, Rich. This should be an absolute beauty. Let's see what kind of Tony sets for himself today. Oh, absolutely flushed. Well, Rich, this looks like a familiar spot for this player. Same spot as yesterday, looking for the same result today. Going with the pitching wedge here. Yeah, 
Yes, any time you can find the green and have a putt, you'll take it. Slim chance here for birdie, but you never know. Setting up here with a very long putt. Bit too heavy-handed there. Putting for par. Ouch, that hurts. And this one is for bogey. Currently one under for the tournament. Starting off with the bogey at first, not tragic. You got a lot of holes to make it up. Let's see how they deal with it going forward. Yeah, I can understand you'd be disappointed by the bogey, but here's an opportunity to bounce back. That one's heading down Broadway. And this shot from about 150 yards out. Oh, this is on a fantastic line. Is it the right distance? A wonderful shot. A chance for Booty here at the second. Oh, these are good for the momentum, these ones. Right on eight feet. That starts off on a good line. Never quite hit that. Wow. Shocking, to say the least. How do you miss that? Okay, that hole's behind you now. And staying right where they were in today's rankings after that. We have a par five on this one. Oh, well struck. This drive's heading for the fairway in my eyes. Already a winner this season. Number two would be very nice here today. Getting ready to play their third. Oh, golf clap. That's a beauty. 11 feet to the cup. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? 
And with that, you can go and put a par on the card. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Currently one under for the event. Let's see what happens here on the fourth. Opting for the hybrid, I think. This one looks like it'll safely make the green. Yep, that shot safely on the green. Sadly hasn't made a putt all day. Hopefully that can change here. Oh, just missed. If you can make this one. It's for par. And the putt drops, and we're moving on. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. Two great shots are required here because this hole is a long par four. Well, on the tee now, coming off a par, chance to pipe one up the middle. That should find the fairway. The spot looks awfully familiar. Didn't they play here yesterday? They had a good result yesterday. Can't see why they wouldn't have another good one today. Going with the six iron here. He's got this thing dialed in here, looking good. Wow, what a shot. And this punt for a share of the lead. Hey, that's a chance. That looked good for a long time, didn't it? That hole's done. Trailing by a stroke after that hole. This hole here is a par four. That was pummeled into submission. Time to play from the bunker. Yes, difficult light made a par here yesterday. A little bit more difficult today. Oh, that was pure. Well, this is one of those lengthy putts. John, how do you see it? Looks like a 24-foot putt. That's disappointing. Downhill putt, and certainly was robbed on that effort. Well, that hole's behind us. More to play.
currently has a share of second place. Deep into the front nine, here we are at the seventh hole. Going with a three wood here. Oh, this needs a little right turn, Clyde. Good shot there. And this punt to move into first place on the leaderboard. Looking really good, this one. Just didn't drop. This part for top spot on the leaderboard, or at least a share of it. So after that hole, this is the current standings on the course. Currently one under for the tournament. And after that good play, moving up the leaderboard. Welcome to this hole. That's a par four. Looks like they put a good swing on that one. That should find the short stuff. Second shot here on the eighth. Looks like they've got the five wood. Just needs a little bit more of a kick to the right. Not a bad approach, that one. Not quite inside the birdie range, but you never know. Hole a long one, still counts. Always love these opportunities, especially when it's for birdie. That was a gallant attempt. Well, this would be a good one to make. It's for par. Yeah, well hold. Let's move on to the next. And after that performance, they'll stay right where they are in the standings. We've reached the ninth hole. Time to tee off. That's heading for the fairway. <laughs> Playing this shot from about 180 yards. Going with the hybrid. Oh, look at this. Right down the throat. Oh, lovely looking shot. Into birdie range here at the ninth. That one's come up short. This is, I can't believe what I just saw there. It seems surreal. This is crazy. 
Well, here we have it, Rich. This player's tied for the lead with the back nine to play. Yeah, good spot, isn't it? I gotta say, I'd rather be in the lead or tied for the lead than in the chasing pack. Gives you just a little margin of error should you have one, but I gotta say, this player is awfully solid. Always love a new beginning. Here we are at the opening hole of the back nine, the 10th. That a boy, good shot. Second shot here on the 10th hole. Choosing the nine iron here. Come on, look after us. Little bounce to the right here. We've known some good iron players in my day, but you're right up there. The iron play today has been absolutely stellar. Luke, the greens and regulation, just a fantastic accomplishment. Great to watch. So no change on the leaderboard for this player after that hole. Lovely momentum for this player after that birdie at the last hole. Keep it rolling. This one's looking good off the tee. That should find the short stuff. <laughs> Playing this shot from about 170 yards out. Opting for the six iron. Yeah, good swing. This one's heading up onto the green for sure. Not a bad approach. Grab the putter from the caddy. You're dancing. This one here, this is for back-to-back -back birdies, moving him in the right direction. Just take a look at this one, Rich. Do you think it's makeable? I really can't say I'm a fan of their chances on this one, Luke, but I tell you what, I've been wrong once before. Frustrating. And they'll walk away with a par on this one. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. And after that hole, he's no longer sharing top spot. He's at the summit all alone. Let's see what happens here at the 12th. Going with the five wood. Yeah, good safe shot this one. That should find the surface. Well, Luke, you're right. He did find grass, but it's not the closely mown grass. Well, this would be a great power putt if you can make this. Good putt that. Leading by a shot after that hole.
Here we have a par five. And after a par at the last, Jazz to maybe take a step in the right direction here. Left nothing in the tank on that one. That was pummeled. Second shot here on their 13th hole. This one might roll into the rough. Well, Rich, in the thick stuff here, not a good spot to be. Yeah, they parted this hole yesterday, but from easier circumstances today, a little more difficult, but still doable. Oh, almost went in. This part of about seven feet to the hole. Oh, nice looking putt. Big putt for Parry coming up. And down it goes. Let's head to the next. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. Let's see what happens here at the 14th. Looks to be a fairway finder to me. Second shot here on the 14th hole. Opting for the five wood. Well, a little off the target with that one. Not taking enough club to get it there. If he makes this, he'll save his par. I like the look of this. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. Let's try and make this one. And then he dropped the one shot. Let's take a look at the leaderboard as it stands. Currently one under for the event. The honour is yours. Time to hit a good one here at the 15th. Good drive. That one should find the fairway. And here we are with the third shot.
looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. Look at the line on this one. Get in the hole. That's an absolute ripper. What a shot. Just four feet remaining between him and the hole. Ooh, right by the hole. And that should secure the par. Well done. And that putt drops. Now one under, heading to the stretch. Ooh, this is getting fun, isn't it? And that makes him tied for first. And we've arrived at a par three. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. Well, that's right out of the top draw. A great shot from our leader. Well, Rich, you think they can make this one? Luke, I, I really don't think this is going to happen. But you know what? I've been wrong before, and it could happen again. Just go ahead and tap that one in. Yeah, well done. Currently one under for the tournament. And now teeing off on this par four hole. Standing on this par four and leading. What's the strategy? What's going on through their mind? Attack it or lay back? Looks like this one's heading safely for the fairway. Second shot here on the 17th hole. Opting for the nine iron. Oh, well played. Oh, this will be good for the momentum. Let's make this birdie putt. That's the right pace. This should drop. Ooh. And with that, you can go and put a par on the card. So with another hole behind us, let's take a look at the leaderboard. No movement up or down on the leaderboard for this player. Some real excitement running through the veins as this player tees off their final hole for the event, tied for the lead. Not a bad line, this one. Well, they're obviously playing to a game plan here because I remember they were hit in from this similar spot yesterday. Same spot as yesterday. Will they have the same results today? Looks to have opted for the eight iron. That should find the surface. Wonderful shot into the 18th and a chance for birdie. Of all the shots that I like the most, that one ranks right up there. And he can win the event here if he can hold this part. It's tracking. Oh, so close. And they'll walk away with a par on this one. 
And with that, this player will win the event. They ended up tied for first, but after a count back, they come out on top. Congratulations. If one is good, two is twice as nice, isn't it? Two wins on the season for this player. Awesome stuff. Well, that'll just about do it. On behalf of Rich Beam, I'm Luke Elvey. Thanks for tuning in. Look forward to your company next time.